Hey everyone, I wasn't going to do another video today, but I've just seen some footage online of... Guys, my hair is disgusting. So I've just seen some uh, footage online of a guy being attacked with a knife. Now, I've done lots of videos about this um, knife crime epidemic that we have in the United Kingdom at the moment. But this incident in particular is really, really uh, gruesome. Now... Obviously, I don't know what's happening. Well, the incident itself is that it's late at... Well, um, it's dark. There's, you know, um, what looks like a couple walking along the street. They're push uh, The gentleman, the guy's pushing a pushchair. I can't see if there's a child in the pushchair or not, and there's a dog with them. From behind, and again, I don't know. I can't contextualise the video. I don't know what's happened previously to that. But he's, you know, this man's attacked... But the way this guy attacks him, he goes straight for his neck. Now, when you attack somebody and the motions that this guy was doing with the knife, he was he was trying to sever his carotid artery. That That's it. There's no other way. There is absolutely no other explanation to why he was doing that. Guys, that was an attempted murder. But it was so blatant. So absolutely blatant, like he did not care about the law, like he didn't care about what's, you know, what could happen to him. Now, judging him and watching him how he moves with that knife, I'm I would speculate, and this is all that is speculation, in my opinion, that he has attacked people like this before, and he's done this before because you don't, you know, you you don't. It's not that is not something you do out of fear. That's not something you do out of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, when, when you're in the flight or fight, when you're in the flight or fight mode, that's not something to, you do to preserve your own safety. That was a calculate. Those were calculated strikes and he's in front of his, you know, uh, uh, we can only assume it's his kid and, you know, his girlfriend and his dog, of course, you know, and just to do that in front of, you know, somebody's family, it, it puts it puts this into a whole new category. Now, what will the response be from the government? Will the government crack down on this heavily? Will the person involved face justice within 24 hours? I don't know. I'd like to. Well, I would like to think so. But the reality is from what we can gather from previous incidents, from previous I mean, what's that guy? The um, from Dartford was it Dartford? The Dartford, the the, the Dartford slasher, Ricky, Ricky. Ah, uh, the the you you guys know what I mean. The um, the he was the counselor from Dartford. I think he, I think he was the counselor from Dartford, and he, he he's in a you know he's getting ready to do a counter protest to a protest that wasn't there, and he's saying you know we need to cut their throats, we need to cut their throats. Is this a direct is this a direct reaction to Ricky? What Ricky's done? Now, as I understand it, Ricky's not being processed. He's not being pushed through the legal system. The only people who've been pushed through the legal system in the United Kingdom are people who put nasty Facebook posts online. So again, you know, I give this this simulation uh, the analogy again. If you're an alien looking in, what do we care more about in the United Kingdom? Do we care more about Facebook posts or more about people threatening to, you know, as you know, the what the Dartford slasher said, you know, we need to cut their throats and get rid of them. The whole contempt, guys, behind this knife crime, it, it, it's absolutely wild. You know, we I was talking about this with my friend. It's like there's it really is like there's nowhere safe now. And if you're not safe. Well, we know children are not safe. We know you're not safe with your family now from this video that um, that's circling online. And it, I doubt it'll be on this platform, guys. So I don't really want to, um, you know, go too gruesome into the actual details. But, you know, and, and I think somebody put a post up the other day and they said, um, what is it? Um, what's the, oh, propaganda isn't just giving people fake information. It's giving people the wrong information. And, you know, if it wasn't for platforms like X, we wouldn't be seeing this with our own eyes. I've said this so many times, guys. Nothing is hidden anymore. You can't hide things. You know, the biggest conspiracies, the, you know, the the whodunits, all this stuff, all the information's out there. It's readily, readily available. All you have to do is look and piece together these, uh, you know, piece together these, um, you know, join join the breadcrumbs or follow the follow the breadcrumbs as as you want to say it. So we need to watch this and look 
will this guy or you know and again i don't remember i don't know the context of this video i don't want to pass judgment on a video without the context but from the video it's hard to and, and guys you know i said this about the when i saw the police officer's video of the attack of the manchester incident in manchester airport i was for you know i said i said right okay i don't know what could have led that officer to kick that guy in the head I don't, you know, and I've got 24 years experience doing um, tactical firearms training and instructing, teaching a lot of militaries around the world, you know, doing dynamic entry. And I know this that wasn't dynamic entry, that was more policing, and I, I, I wouldn't pretend to be an expert on policing. But what I said when, that, when I saw the initial video of the Manchester airport incident, I said, I don't know how the office is going to explain that, but I would like to see the full footage. Once I saw the full footage, I was like, right, OK, that puts it in a total different context. And I actually said, if I was still teaching and I had to teach and give an example of when you can kick somebody in the head that's on the floor, I would have, you know, it, there'd be a strong argument to use that case, use that video footage. Now, I said that and then when it came out, I, 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 I said, OK, we've seen the full footage now. So I, the same with this video. I've not seen the full video. All we've seen is part of the video. We don't know what's happened previously. But again, I'll say the same thing. I don't know what could have led to that incident where that man thinks it's okay to try and kill another man in front, just in, in front of so many people. He's like, the guy wielding the knife has absolutely no fear or he's that wild, he just doesn't care. But then leads to the problem, What's the root cause of all this? Why are all these people? Is there something that connects all these people? Do they eat at the same place? Do they, I don't know, do they drink the same water or something? What is it in our country that's, we have such a knife crime epidemic at the moment and people are losing their lives. And you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to say we are only seeing the tip of the iceberg. I suspect this epidemic is a lot worse than we actually think because we only see the incidents that are that somebody's filmed on their phone and then posted and then it gets shared and shared and shared where what about the incidents that nobody's filmed what about the incidents that um you know that are just unreported i'm going to assume that there's lots of these incidents that are just not reported and i do think the knife crime epidemic in the united kingdom is a lot worse then I do. I think it's going to be a lot worse than people are, people are thinking. And what is the solution? How do we, you know, we need to, as a country, we need to, first, like any problem, you know, the first step into solving the problem is admitting there's a problem. So if Keir Starmer wants to keep saying the problems, you know, right wing racism and whatever he wants to say while people are getting stabbed left, right and centre, it's never going to get solved. We need to accept what the problem is. We need to identify the problem and then come up with a solution. Absolutely insane. Guys, make sure you just look after yourselves and keep an eye on your kids. I'm going to mag to grid.